Our next honoree is not famed for being a singer, and so we won't make him sing. <laughs> he is Ratan Tata, a global business leader and philanthropist who's been a friend of my father's, mine, and Sinergos for many years. And I actually remember your uncle, which, who was your predecessor, right? Being at dinner at my dad's house probably 20 or 30 years ago, a long time ago. His family's Tata group has been an exemplar of what we've come to call socially responsible business for more than 100 years, really pioneering the concept in India, and more recently under Ratan's leadership globally. So many of us here take for granted the idea that business should, can, and really must operate for the benefit of society as a whole. The Tata group is showing that it is not only the right thing to do, but also a profitable thing to do. An example of such a collaboration was a partnership for child nutrition in the state of Maharashtra, India, with UNICEF, Unilever, Synergos, Indian NGOs and business and government. Tata companies not only provided important financial support, but they looked for ways they could bring expertise to bear to improve nutrition for children. One such company was the Taj Group of Hotels, which offered the expertise of its chefs to develop new recipes for use in government childcare feeding programs that met the government requirement of two rupees per day per child and tasted good and was far more nutritious than the previous government recipes. We've since learned that stunting in Maharashtra has come down over the course of the partnership from 39 to 23%, a reduction of over half a million children in a total of 16 million stunted children in the country. Ratan, would you please join me and my father to receive the award? I'd just like to greet you all and say how pleased I am that you've been able to come to this event, an event which was started by my dear daughter and has been supported by all of you for so many years. Uh, it's wonderful that you would be here, and I hope that it, it will continue for many years to come <laughs> with your continued support. I apologize for not being able to entertain you. <laughs> yeah. it, it, would, it would only have provided you with indigestion for your dinner. So. <laughs> but let me, let me just say that I am greatly privileged to receive this honor today, and I thank Peggy and David. David has been an inspiring individual. I'm here today, 15 hours here and 15 hours back, because David is a person whom I admire greatly. He has reached out and touched millions of people all over the world. There are millions of people who deserve this attention, which he has given through the years selflessly, and I've held him in very high esteem. To receive this award from his hands was worth many 15-hour trips mm -hmm. for me. I wish David good health on, on this very memorable year for him. And I just want to say that there are millions of people who have benefited from your largesse, your philanthropy, and your great big heart, mm -hmm. David. And it's for me a great, great privilege to be a recipient of this, which you were the first recipient of. And I'd just like to say thank you. And we all must be as sensitive as you have been to make this world a better place to live in and to recognize the less fortunate people that abound this world. Thank you very much. Thank you.